Hi guys, today I am gonna show you my nail polish haul from Polish Kong. I know it's been almost a month and I'm just kind of lazy. I, I have so many polishes. I believe I counted I have 70 polishes with me and there are two more that should be shipped to me soon. And I just don't know how to put everything in a haul and it just stressed me out for the longest time. So I didn't film my haul and I've decided I'm just gonna switch the camera angle and then show you the bottle shots as I'm talking. So that way you can see the polishes relatively fast and I'm not gonna really try to describe any of the polishes at all. So you're just gonna look at them on your own pretty much. I think most of the colors are pretty um, easy to recognize, I, right? Like, <laughs> I don't need to explain anything to you and I'm not gonna give you any swatch photos. It's just way too overwhelming there's like 70 of them and also you should check out my description box because um, at polish con I received a lot a lot of discount codes none of them are affiliate links or anything they're just really discount codes for you to use um, they all most of them have expiration dates and I think one has already expired I'm just I'm so sorry I'm so late to this um, so hopefully you can take an advantage of those codes because we all know indie polishes are expensive and if you can get any money off of it why not right try to feel free to use them Oh, and also I got to meet a couple of you guys. I'm, I'm really happy that you came and said hi to me. Um, I was totally in my nerd mode. I had like ponytail and glasses and backpack. I'm just like, let's get the battle on, right? Like, let, let's get all the polishes. So um, hopefully uh, you had a nice conversation with me and I was really happy to meet you guys. And I really don't know what else I need to tell you. Um, yeah you you can let's just get started let's look at all the polishes so let's get started with my vip polishes first so those are the polishes i was able to redeem using coupons at all the different vendors and i think i'm missing two polishes because either they ran out or they didn't bring them uh, one is from taco lacquer the other one is from great lake slacker and then they're gonna send them to me through mail later the first one here is a new brand for me this is um inspirations and this one is in the color zacharias uh, 916 and i've used it quite a bit already and i do really like it it's a shimmery topper with a gold to pink flash and it also has a lot of uh, gold flakies this one is from kathleen and co and the color is fairy tale of new york and you can see the glitter, the hollow glitter kind of settled on the bottom, maybe you can tell. But when I used it, I shook it up and it had no problem. From Ever After, this one is Race You to the Castle. Sassy Cat's Lacquer provided this, the NYC Girl. So from the swatches I saw online, this one is extremely sheer. I haven't tried it yet. Glisten and Glow, and this one is in the color The Gilded Age of New York. Bohemian Polish, this one looks really interesting. A deep swamp green with a lot of flakies, and the color is called Titania. And from different dimension, we got Semper Fidelis. Not sure what that is, but this one looks really gorgeous. From Girly Bits, we got a dual chrome kind of hollow polish. This is a very important polish. I like that name. From Lollipop Posy Lacquer, this one is a Deadly Banishment. Bees Knees Lacquer, and this one looks really cool. And it is in the color Wall of the Beam Bridge. Bridge? Sit. I can't read. Native War Paints. Uh, this is their Lux polish. I never knew that Native War Paints have different bottles. And this is Luxurious. It's a deep purple hollow. This one is from Rise and Shine and it is in the color Love Triangle. Poetry Cowgirl. This one is a gall metal kind of shade. It's called Summer in the City. 
Turtle Tootsie Polish White Plains VIP. Pepper Pot uh, threw this one and this is It's Electric. So I know for Pepper Pot they got different polishes. Uh, the girl just let me pick one of the few options that they had. So I believe they didn't have a just like a polish made for the VIPs. They just kind of like gave a free polish. And this one is Anchor and Heart Lacquer and it's called New York Frolic. And then we have Supernatural Lacquer, and this one is a neon orange color with a lot of blue flakies. It is called Cruel Summer. From Rogue Lacquer, we got a gunmetal-ish kind of shade too, but compared to the Poetry Girl, you can tell it is a little bit more teal, this one, and it is just called VIP. From KB Shimmer, we got Spatial Edition, like special, but Spatial. It's a teal hollow. Alter Ego wasn't there, but they threw polishes into the VIP bag. And to my understanding, people got different polishes for the event. This one particularly that I got is in the color uh, Rocks the Plank. It's a little hard to read. And then I have a mini size from Crystal Knockout. They're also not there, but they threw this mini polish in. And this one doesn't have a shade name, you can tell, so. All right, then let's get into the polishes that are not VIP polishes. I just purchased them on my own. So I just got one polish from KB Shimmer. This one looks really interesting. It's an aqua crelly, and the color is called Salt Water Sassy. I got three polishes from Bees Knees Lacquer. I think their bottles are just not very attractive to me, but I still wanted to try something from them because so many people just rave about them. They are kind of different. They're very dual chrome heavy, and I'm not like the biggest dual chrome fan, so hopefully this works out for me. Uh, this one is a magnet polish, and I don't even have a magnet yet, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And this one is in the color uh, Defender of the Rainbow. This one looks really cool. Look at all the flakies in there. And this is in the color High Lady of the Night Court. And the last one, I just love that copper shimmer. And this is the Impera 2.0. I got a mystery bag from Taco Lecker because I wasn't very familiar with the brand, so I didn't know what to pick. And those are the three that I got. I've tried this one already. This first one, it's a pinky shimmer kind of polish. Is in the color Sweet Peas, but I feel this one is very frosty looking on the nails. Not the biggest fan of it. Then we have Filthy Rich. This one is very gorgeous. The last one is Milkshake. Look at that. Oh gosh, I love this one. I got three from LE Polish. I think they look really cool. Uh, the first one is a white curly here. It just I can't get over white curlies. I just love everything. <laughs> and here is everything but the farmhouse sink. I think this came from the fixer upper trail that they did. And this one is I select you naturally. And the last one I got is love potion. I only got two from Glinsa and Glow. A few polishes that I really wanted from them, they were sold out because I went to the table a little bit late. So that's kind of unfortunate, but um, it's fine. Those are the two that I got. This teal-ish one, it's very similar to what I have on my nails too. Um, and on my nails, this is from Glinsa and Glow as well. It's in the color Mermaid Squad. I feel this bottle that I got is a little bit more blue and aqua looking and it is in the color You and Me. And this purplish one is really pretty. And it is in the color Crash Into Me. I got quite a few polishes from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. I just think this brand is so cool. I love everything that they put out. And yeah, I got five of them. Um, this one is another white Crelly, but it's a glitter polish. And I think the glitter combo is really cool. And the color is called Opal of My Eye. 
And this one is a uh, New York Polish Con exclusive. It's not a VIP polish. It's just a uh, limited edition to the event. This one is a little bit on the sheer side. I tried it out on the swatch stick. Haven't played with it quite yet, but I'm very curious about it. It looks really cool. The color is called Are We Awake? And this color is just very unique. It's not really like anything I've seen before. It seems like you need to shake it a little bit. You can see the pigment settling on one side. Uh, this is a Mus Veritas. A reddish color with a green shimmer. Look at that. I love it. This one is small batch 1N. I really tried to not get any prototype or small batch polishes this time because I want to be able to reference them, you know, I, I'm not crazy about the one and only kind of polishes, so yeah, but this one I just cannot resist. And I love different dimensions, so I got a few from them. This one is a gold hollow, I think it's an ultra hollow, it looks really intense, and it is Barnaby. And we have Illusion. And we have Family. It's also gold hollow, but you can tell it is leaning green compared to this one that I just showed you. You can see the difference there. This one is Olivia. Then we have Now You See Me. Last, we have this Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. <laughs> I like that name, and it's a Polish Con exclusive. I got two from Supernatural Lacquer. This is a new brand for me, so I've never tried anything from them. Both of them look interesting. First of all, this grayish one has a very strong pink shimmer. I'm usually not a gray polish fan, but this one looks very cool. And it is 5th Gen Console Freak. Oh, it's from the uh, polish pickup of, was that May? Yeah, it's from May. And this one looks really gorgeous. The color is called Castle of Glass. I got three from Kathleen & Co. Uh, those are full-size bottles compared to the VIP polish that they gave as a freebie. You can see the size difference here. And here, this first one, I just like that kind of orange color. I don't think it's something very common. And it has a very pretty gold shimmer. And this one is orange crimsicle. This aqua kind of turquoise color with a lot of flakies inside. And this one is called Siren's Stash. Last is a navy blue kind of uh, shimmery color. This one is Treasures Unseen. I got just one from Poetry Cowgirl. I'm not very familiar with the brand either, so I just picked out one. This color is pretty. It is Lovers and Mad Men. I believe I have another full-size Rise of Shine polish. I just don't know where it went um, because they also gave this like little freebie if you make a purchase. Because um, I know I showed you the VIP polish and I bought one and I got this one. Anyways, this one is in the color 201. I got three from Turtle Tootsie. I just really like their bottle shape. I think this little square bottle shape is probably my favorite, and there are quite a few brands that use this, so I can see the peel from the bottle shape, which is kind of silly, but eh, what you gonna do? <laughs> so this one I really wanted to get because I think the base color is really unique. It's kind of like a pewter color. That's yeah, just very different. And this one is called Dream It. Then we have This Night is Made for Polish. I think this one is a Polish Con exclusive too. And the last one is Indie Expo 2018. So it's probably a 
event polish for the Indie Expo that just happened earlier. I got three polishes from Ever After. They brought out a lot of their older polishes, um, so I really appreciated that. Look at this unique mustardy green yellow color with that pink flash. That's so gorgeous. This is Seasick Crocodile. A nudie pink color, and this is uh, Tightrope. Another white crelly. Gorgeous. This is Mother of Dragons. I got two from Lollipop. Uh, the first one here is very unique. It's very flaky this. It is called Temperance. And then I have the Clocks Were Striking 13. It's kind of like an ugly pretty color. Pepper Pot is another polish that I always wanted to try, so I'm really glad I got to pick up a few. This one is another ugly pretty color, um, actually under comparison. You can see they're very similar. Uh, they're both in this kind of like ugly green base, but with a pink shimmer. Of course, this one is much more uh, intense because it has a lot more flakies and whatnot, but the concept is similar, I think. And this one is Bombshell. And I just got a brick red color. I think it looks classy. Uh, it has a shimmer in it. And this is Super Senior. Those two are very intense. Look at all those scatter hollow in there. Gorgeous. Uh, this first one is Bright Lights. And this bluish one is This City Never Sleeps. I think those two are the Polish Con exclusives. Here, I found that Rise and Shine polish. <laughs> right here a uh, good angle right here you can see it's a medium pink it has a shimmer it's pretty and the color is called 101 all the rest is just native war paints now I got a few of them and this one I think they tossed in for making a purchase over $50 I believe um, it's a smaller bottle compared to their full size I'll show you you can tell this one is a little bit skinnier but maybe taller, so maybe it's not smaller. Huh, not sure, but anyways, it's a shimmer polish, and this one is called Love Looks Not With The Eyes. Then we have a blue crelly. I like this color combo. It's very different. It's kind of like a ugly Christmas sweater kind of style. <laughs> maybe because of the red and green glitters inside. And this is called Notting Hill. Then we have Touring Toronto. This one is also an Indie Expo uh, event polish, but they brought it over. It's a dark teal base. Then we have Sweater Lover. I honestly really wanted to get the whole sweater collection, um, but I have to be honest, their table was quite messy. I just couldn't find them. And yeah, at the end, I was just like, you know what, forget it. I, I just can't. <laughs> Here I have Penny for your thoughts. And the last polish is Distressed Denim. I love that blue shimmer. So that's it guys, that's all the polishes I got from Polish Con. I'm really happy and I think I did have, I don't know, a lot of polishes to try in the next like three months. If you think about it, if I change my polish every day and I use only those polishes exclusively, it will still last me like more than two months. So that's pretty crazy. So I probably, or I, at least I would try to slow down on um, purchasing new polishes uh, in the next few months. I don't want to go crazy, I know. Um, I hopefully wouldn't buy too many more polishes until maybe Black Friday because I know that's when a lot of polishes give discounts and whatnot. And if you have tried any of those polishes before, let me know because I'll be curious your thoughts on those polishes, um, their formula and whatnot. Just give me a heads up kind of thing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like and also subscribe to my channel. I do monthly manis. I assume that's something you might be interested in. You can check that out. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.